Welcome to another tutorial video in the FX Factory podcast series. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Synthesizer, which is part of FX Factory Pro. I'm in Final Cut Pro, but this effect works in Final Cut Express, Motion, and After Effects as well. It is located in Video Filters, NI Stylize. Synthesizer is a unique effect that generates three-dimensional geometry by distorting your clip based on the luminance values of the clip itself, or even another clip or text that you can use as a source. The presets show me some very cool line and point distortions composited with the original footage. I like this preset called Terraforming. Let's dig into the parameters. The effect is driven by these values in the geometry section. It's easy to get the gist of this effect with this preset. You can see that the shape is set to squares and the original image is extruded using a grid of squares based on the luminance of the clip. Our original image is tilted back in 3D space, and you can see the distortion relative to the brightness of the source. If I go through the different shape settings in the drop-down menu, you can see how the grid changes, but the distortion stays the same. Blend mode allows you to choose a few different composite modes for the effect. I'll leave it at add, which makes the effect brighter and more noticeable. The source section is set to clip, which means the distortion is based on the clip itself. You have the option of loading custom media into this effect or even using text to create the distortion. I'll skip down to the animation section. It's set to oscillate right now, which makes this whole clip wave like a flag. I'm going to turn the animation off, so the only distortion you see is from the displacement settings. Above in the displacement settings, it's set to bright pixels. I'll change this to range of pixels. Here I get source value, aperture, and softness controls that you might have seen in the FX Factory Glow effects. More in-depth information on these is available in the online help document. We also covered these settings extensively in the first Glow tutorial, available at noiseindustries.com. I'll adjust these settings until I really can accentuate the distortion around the car. This is starting to look like how I want it. Now I'll adjust the settings of the 3D camera to position the clip and its angle just where I want it. Lastly, I'll animate the camera swing back value. This is a great tip as it will allow me to transition in and out of the effect. I'll quickly show you one more preset, Web of Text, which allows me to use text as my source for distortion. I'll change the text and font and size it appropriately. I'll animate the camera to go from a tilt to straight on, and then bring in more text and composite on top. I'll even make a cut and fade to another synthesizer effect preset, String Theory, to finish up my exciting title screen. So here I've created an opener with some very cool effects, thanks to the FX Factory Synthesizer plugin. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com. <laughs>